In this video, we will be looking at TPC 2023.10 GIS enhancements. We will focus on the updates for the GIS Connection Manager. Let's now have a look at the new enhancements for the GIS Connection Manager in TPC 2023.01. I already have a project set up in TPC. As you can see, coordinate system has been defined. First of all, I'll just add some points for us to work with. Let's quickly import these points. I'll just do them as survey points. Import. There we have my points that I have imported. So let's set up a connection now in the GIS Connection Manager. Let's call it Stormwater. And then the data source, again, you have shapefiles, file geodatabase, Postgres database is there, and S3 service. I will use the S3 service for this video. Type in your service name in there. I'll just quickly copy the name I'm using. There we go. If you have a private service, you'll add your authentication URL as well as your client ID and return URL. This is open service for us to use. And once we've done that, you will see that that is, comes up with it. I'm now just going to tell it to consider it. You can decide which one of these you want to utilize. Once that is done, your service has been set up. We can close this. Now we go to read features from GIS and you will see we now have the option to read all or select a window where we want to import data. Now we can select the corners. So we just want to import data for our points. And you will see these are the different features that you can import, the total of them as well. And now we can click on preview. And you can preview the data before importing everything into TPC. It reads it. And now you can see this is the preview that I'm getting. If you're happy with that, you can see the objects and all the data information that will be pulled in. I will then say, yes, I'm happy with that. Now it will ask you that existing feature Definition library does not have all the feature attributes. That's part of the GIS import you're going to do. So now I can tell GPC to add it. We'll just click yes and it will then add the missing features for us. It reads the data and there we go. We now have imported our GIS data. We zoom in. You can see the information again. Right click properties and you will see all the information pertaining to that specific feature that was imported. There we go. All of that is done. That's how the preview works. So if we want to write data, it's as simple as you can simply just add it and write features back into GIS. So I can actually generate some lines if I want to do that. Uh, just showing you the preview feature that we've added. As you can see, curved lines are also now being brought in even better, as you can see over there. That is a feature that has been added. Uh, just again, if you want to preview data, we'll go to GIS Connection, and let's say we want to create a new one. This will be parcels, and then this data source, the Esri Data Service Connect. Get your Esri Service name in there. Copy that and bring it in. There we go. Select. And it's fine. We'll just say that's the one we want to choose. So now you see we have two connections. Just make sure that when you have more than one connection, especially when you want to write data, that you select the correct connection for use. Now, if we go back to our read features, you will see we now have two options in our connections. Select the correct one. Again, you can do all or window. And now we can select the window we want to import. Let's say we're interested in just this little section for ourselves. Again, we'll see what we're going to import. We can preview it. At the bottom, you see the progress bar. 
And before you import all the data from the GIS servers, we can preview it this way. There we go. Now you can preview the data, see what you're going to import. And when you're happy with that, simply click OK. And yes, we want to add it to our feature definition library. So we have all that information set up. And there we go. It imports the data we are looking for, just from that specific window. There we have it. Data imported into GBC. By previewing it, first of all, you can ensure that you import the correct data that you want in your project. That highlights the new enhancement in the GIS Connection Manager in TBC 2023.10.